you, yeah, you, yeah, it was a little bit of both. It's it's bad bad it definitely it's picked up. Uh, my name's Scott Devours. I've uh, been with the band for about a month. Uh, obviously, any Carbon Leaf fan knows that um, Jason is their drummer, and he took some time off to have his second baby, I think, second child. So I was friends with the guys, and they gave me the call, and I had an open schedule, so I said yes. What am I looking forward to? I mean, just really getting to know the guys better. The, that's the very first thing that struck me, and it may sound cheesy, but I was struck by the band, the music at first, really struck by their audience, because I went to see a couple live shows, and I just was blown away at their following and the kind of love that their fan base shows them. It's unlike almost any fan base of any band I've been involved with. But way beyond those two things is them as people, and fathers and brothers and sons. They're amazing guys. Super, super, some of the most amazing guys I've ever met. Oh. first gig coming up it was a uh, like a house concert typical college party and we had to think of a name and uh, Barry and I were batting around words and names and carbon came out and a leaf came out and they got stuck together and then they got put on the flyer for this party and it stuck we tried really hard to think of a better name but uh, couldn't I mean you know just kind of the just, just the life around you really um, it's um, it's hard, it's hard to really put a finger on it. Um, I, a lot of the inspiration comes from the music, you know? Um, what's the music, just what piece of music is, is hooking me, you know? Is it the whole song or is it just this one part uh, that, that you can kind of start writing to and before you know it, you've got, you've got some place that it's taken you and, and, and um, you know, is, is, if there's an inspired place that it takes you, something that you didn't figure, on, kind of like a dream, you know. You're like, whoa, where did where did that come from? And um, and so I will pursue that. And a lot of times I'll work on like maybe 15 different songs at the same time, or have it have a list of them. And so if you're working on something and the, you hit a roadblock, then you can kind of move on to something else. So you're always working on you know different parts of different songs, and it's a good way of kind of fighting writer's block, you know. So you're always focused, you know, pivoting on something else, so. Grab your heart, we need to leave. There's no time to cry or grieve for the fallen family tree. You know, there's some songs that are more fun to play live, Love Rain Down or Ragtime Carnival, but songs that are real special to me are like Two Aging Truckers, All My Love. You know, I never get tired of playing, you know, the, the big hits, Life Less Ordinary, What About Everything Troubles. Um, One Prairie Outpost is real special to me. That was written on our first tour as a, our first tour out west actually. And uh, we were, you know, like in, in, in Utah, I think. And um, I was working with that piece of music that Terry wrote, the guitar riff. And um, so it was like the perfect kind of place 
to me to write what's the dream and what's the real and kind of how do you get you know from in between that kind of space where it's like neither here nor there and, um, and kind of that metaphor just kind of hit me. I'm John Markle and I play bass. I get just in my life I've, I've had like crazy anxiety since I was like a little since I was like a little little kid so to combat that anxiety I sort of keep it really even keel and not get too out of my comfort zone and stuff so so right before a show it's mostly for me it's mostly about just being being as relaxed and let's go have fun as possible I am Carter Gravitt and I am a multi-instrumentalist tonight I'll just be playing mandolin acoustic guitar and electric guitar but um I'll sometimes play banjo, fiddle, cello, pretty gurdy, uh, lap steel, pedal steel. Oh, that would have been uh, that whatever's laying around. Maybe. It's it's all fun. I get to go around the country and play songs I've made up for people, and they like it. So it's pretty miraculous. Mm -hmm.